What's going on guys? So TCK Chris or ForkTW on YouTube helped me figure out how to effectively play on blue stacks. So what he thought was that we needed to revert back to an older version of blue stacks, but when he told me to do that, I f I figured out that that actually didn't end up working for me, but I did end up finding something that did make blue stacks work effectively. For me, with it doesn't matter what version of BlueStacks you're on, so I'll show you how you can effectively play on BlueStacks now. So big shout out to TCK Chris or Fork TW. Um, here's his YouTube channel. Follow him on YouTube. Um, if it wasn't for him, then I wouldn't have figured out how to do this. So let's actually go over to this scene, and I'll show you actually how this is done. So. If you're playing on blue stacks, if you can't move your character, you can press this twice and then you'll regain control of your character. But then when you try to type in the chat, every time you press the key once, you will get two key presses. So you actually won't be able to type. It's very frustrating, which is why I'm excited to share this with you guys because I know this is going to help you guys out. So when that happens to you, all you got to do is what I do. I just click on my taskbar down here. You can click on anything outside of the blue stacks window. And then you click directly into the chat window and bam, you can type. You can type. Here it is. Wow. You can type. So then to regain control of your character, because you will not have control of your character again at this point, you just press this again twice. It is called, if I hover over it, it's called the toggle game controls. You can also alternatively hit control plus shift plus F10, but who wants to hit a three key bind combo? You don't want to do that. Just click this twice. It's a lot easier. If you want to type again, just click your taskbar or click something outside of the blue stacks window, open up your chat, click your chat. Hello, there we go. And regain control of your character. But if you try to type without ta um, clicking outside of the blue stacks window, then you get this where you can't type again. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you can play on blue stacks and type effectively. But I've got a bonus tip for you if you're sticking around. So on blue stacks, another reason why I hated playing on blue stacks was because the movement wasn't very good. For example, when I would move left to right, it would slightly go up or down. So if you go over to this button, Controls Editor, you will be able to, if you click right on the W, D, S, or A over here, you will be able to drag it. What you want to do is try to drag it slightly to the left or the right if your vertical movement is messed up, or, slide, or grab the D or the A and slide it um, vertically if your horizontal movement is a little bit messed up and you can get the movement down perfect so how I, how what I, how I did that is um I used the the place where the wasteland meets the grass as like a reference point and then I, I kept tweaking my my d-pad just a little bit just a little bit vertically until my horizontal movement was perfect and so if I move right here next to the grass in the wasteland, I can use this point where the grass meets the wasteland as a reference point to see if I'm moving up or down. And I got my movement, my horizontal movement perfect. And then to get your vertical movement perfect, you can do the same thing and you can use the, the point where the concrete right here at the storage meets the grass as your point of reference. So now I've got my movement perfect on blue stacks and I can type whenever I want. So now my blue stacks play is perfect. It took a, a bit of configuring, it was a pain. Well, the configuring itself didn't really take that long. It wasn't really much of a pain, but what was a pain was playing on blue stacks in the first place. But thank you to TCK Chris or ForkTW on YouTube. Give him a follow. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to figure this out. And unfortunately right now I can't afford a Patreon subscription, but if you have an extra $10 a month, you can also just, if you don't want to go through all this crap, you can just subscribe to Bart's Patreon, the sole developer or the developer of Chris Averroes at patreon.com slash godcoder if you want to play on the official PC version. So that hopefully will help you guys out quite a bit. I'm glad I figured it out. And I'm excited to play on Blue Stacks now. So I hope I hope you guys feel the same way. And I hope that was useful for you guys. So if you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you all. Be good. And I'll see you again real soon.